When you click Start API Server, you'll be able to create a server which you can then use with your software. Instead of using, let's say, the ChatGPT server online, you can just use this server and you can create a new API key just by clicking this and then you have an API key. Let's give it a name. doesn't matter what you call it. And here it is right here. Now, it's more than that. For software developers, you can test it right within the software. So, for example, if we ask, hello, what is your name? Uh, please answer in one word. Let's see what it's going to say. But this is going to be the API response, which you would ARIA. So it calls itself ARIA. And then if we go to the curl section here, you have to add your API key here. But we're not going to waste your time with that. You could just click this and it will add it automatically here. And then if you click run test, it will then work. So the API key you generated over here will then be used automatically over here. And the uh, prompt here is, uh, tell me a 10 word story. So as you can see, this is the curl uh, prompt, the curl code, which as you can see, this is the URL where the, the server is located. As you can see, it's the same over here, just it adds the location of the, um, sorry, of the, where the actual uh, JSON and all the code is. And then you can just run tests over here and then you can add this to your software and that way you'll be able to run a AI locally, meaning you can do it completely for free. So if you have like a, a thousand or a million things you need done with AI, this is perfect for you. It works on the CPU alone. It doesn't even need a GPU. Uh, if you do have a GPU which works, you just click all GPUs. 